Solving Apollo Enigma 1. There exist literally thousands of ways to prove that NASA Apollo Saturns were fake rockets and that they could not have lifted off the ground with their claimed weight of 3,000 tons, a colossal weight which has never been made airborne even to this day. Year 2019. I have published my observations of several related experiments using multiple methods pro proving this fact. Links to those experiments will be posted below this video. However, due to public interest to know what Apollos actually were, this short video is dedicated to show what I believe Apollos were. I believe that Apollo Saturns and all huge rockets such as Space Shuttles, SpaceX, Russian Soyuz, have been rigid vertical hydrogen airships, in other words, hydrogen balloons, launched without crew, which were likely made of thin leak-proof aluminum sheets weighing around 2 tons, with a gross weight of around 10 tons, containing 5 to 7 tons of liquid hydrogen tanks at the bottom, to keep the airship vertical and to provide it with hydrogen balloon lift in addition to supplying exhaust flames to mimic rocket thrust. Now I explain how I believe Apollos and all such rockets work. Liquid hydrogen was heated into hot hydrogen gas and pumped up to the top of Apollos through an air duct filling its volume from the top down. Once filled with hydrogen gas, the hydrogen gas reaching the bottom was mixed with outside air in addition to some fireworks compounds such as magnesium, then ignited upon exiting the bottom of uh, Apollos, creating its visible flames, clouds, and sounds. However, without creating any thrust force, Thrust force had to be prevented due to the tilting and wobbling effect of Apollo balloons. You can prove this for yourself, this wobbling effect with a long vertically held and weight down helium balloon, which if you push from below would wobble and tilt, thus giving away that it is a balloon, just as it would have happened to Apollos and space shuttles if they were pushed up from below. Dumping several tons of super cold liquid nitrogen around the launch pad instantly cools the launch area and helps the heated hydrogen balloon to lift in addition to creating special visual effects and creating a smoke screen with huge clouds faking rocket exhaust. Absence of rocket thrust force and lack of acceleration are both visible in Apollo launch videos showing their constant ascent rates of between 3 meters and 10 meters per second from the earlier Apollos to the later Apollos when clearing a 100 meter launch tower, which a real rocket clears in less than 2 seconds. All Apollo launches show balloon ascent rates as opposed to rocket launches in which rockets always clear their first 100 meters in less than 2 seconds, but usually in less than 1 second, not between 30 seconds and 10 seconds as the Apollos had performed from the earlier to the later Apollos. 3G acceleration is the minimum demanded acceleration of a real rocket to ascend without tipping and falling, thus demanding a minimum thrust weight ratio TWR of 3 plus 1 equal to 4, while Apollo's claim TWR is only 1.25, which is similar to a balloon TWR and similar to SpaceX TWR. I believe that SpaceX is also a hydrogen balloon. 
landing SpaceX boosters, I believe, are remote-controlled deflating hydrogen balloons, balloon drones with the GPS-locked landing site targets. In later videos, I will try to prove that the mythical 3,000-ton Apollos could not have lifted off the ground at all, not even one inch. I believe that the fake Apollo space program was adopted from the 1860s sci-fi novel of French novelist Jules Verne about a manned spaceflight to the moon using a large cannon, not a rocket. This Apollo blueprint was drawn by a professional artist flown in from Toronto, Canada. If you have legitimate comments or questions, you can reach me at DisclosureRealty.com. Thank you.